Today we will see examples related to exponential form. Rhea, Amit and Nisha were expressing 256 in its exponential form. Rhea expressed it as 16 raised to the power of 2, Amit as 4 raised to the power of 4 and Nisha as 2 raised to the power of 8. Who expressed 256 in the correct form? Here we have to express 256 in exponential form. Can you tell how we would express it in exponential form? Think about it. Absolutely right. For this, we will have to obtain the factors of 256. We can express 256 as 16 multiplied by 16. That is, we can express 256 by 16 raised to the power of 2 by taking base 16 and exponent 2. If we write 16 as a factor of 4 multiplied by 4, then we get 256 is equal to 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 raised to the power of 4. It is also an exponential form of 256. Similarly, if we write 4 as 2 multiplied by 2, then we get 256 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 8. It is also an exponential form of 256. That is, we can express 256 in exponential form as 16 raised to the power of 2, 4 raised to the power of 4 or 2 raised to the power of 8. Hence, Rhea, Amit and Nisha all three have expressed 256 in correct form. Next example, between minus 2 raised to the power of 5 and minus 5 raised to the power of 2, Find out which number is greater. Here the numbers are represented in exponential form. Let us first find the numbers corresponding to these exponential forms. We can write minus 2 raised to the power of 5 as we will get the result as minus 32. You can solve the same in another method. Here we see that the base is a negative number and the exponent is an odd number. So tell me, in a situation like this, Will the result be positive or negative? Think for a while. Absolutely right. The result will be negative. We will multiply 2 5 times to get the result. By doing this, we get minus 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to minus 32. Similarly, we can write minus 5 raised to the power of 2 is equal to minus 5 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to 25. Now we see that minus 32 is negative while 25 is positive. And since positive numbers are larger than negative numbers, 25 is greater than minus 32. Hence, minus 5 raised to the power of 2 is greater than minus 2 raised to the power of 5. Next example. Write a raised to the power of 3 multiplied by a raised to the power of 4 and a raised to the power of 5 in exponential form. We can write a raised to the power of 3 is equal to a multiplied by a multiplied by a. Similarly, we can express a raised to the power of 4 and a raised to the power of 5. Substituting these values in the question, we see that a raised to the power of 3 multiplied by a raised to the power of 4 multiplied by a raised to the power of 5. Here we see that a has been multiplied by itself a total of 12 times. So, we can write this as a raised to the power of 12. So, we can say that a raised to the power of 3 multiplied by a raised to the power of 4 multiplied by a raised to the power of 5 is equal to a raised to the power of 12. Today, we saw examples related to exponential form. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to this.